Are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe? Yes, we are. Hit it, Rosalina. All right, then. Off we go. Hey, guys. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Let's get this show on the road. And the Comet Observatory lifts off towards the center of the universe. It is time to save our special one. There is a warp field inside the castle. Go, they are inside. Hurry. Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the fate of the universe. All right, are you guys ready? We are finally here at the last level of the game. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a, like a star, basically. Here we are. This is the final level. Sakti's Luma's here. Mama says this fight isn't just for us. It's also about saving your special one. Please be careful. Whatever you do, don't fail. Uh, there's no promise of not failing at least once. At least once. I mean, you never know with me. The spotlights have their own gravity. Try sticking to them. Alright, will do. So yes, basically you have these spotlights that uh, essentially have their own gravity. And that's pretty much the, the biggest gimmick, I guess, with this uh, galaxy. But also, it's going to really put to use um, all the platforming skills you have hopefully developed up to this point. And why can't I... Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Screw this. Watch this. Or... <laughs> That's a great start right there, man. Great start. That Luma right there jinxed me. Right there. That Luma, he jinxed me. What a jerk, man. Because of you, I have my first death. Not even a minute into this galaxy. Alright. Great start, man. Also... Music here is freaking awesome. It's one of my favorite songs to have in a final level of a game. I used to love this song a lot more than I do now, and I still love it a lot, so that's really saying something. It's still not melty molten material, but eh, you know, it works. So yes, got some fireball uh, chains to dodge here. Uh, ignore these Bowser statues in our prom at all. Don't worry about them. I suppose if you destroyed them, you could get coins out of them, but eh, not gonna try to right now. So now, you're gonna be coming across every element type planet that you've come across at this point. Start with lava planets, which you only encountered like a few times, a few select times, mostly multi molten galaxy. And then you go from here to an ice planet, and then a sand planet, and so on. It's just, it's pretty much everything you think of! Oh god. So this one can also kill you pretty easily, too. Well, pretty much every one of these plants can't kill you easily if you're not careful. Okay. Now we got our ice planet here, with all these blocks that'll come down as they as we follow the path that they make. I'm not going to worry about going for every one of them, because, uh, well, let's just say that what what follows this, this uh, last level, I mean the final battle here, it's, uh, it's not that easy, but it's, it's just, eh, we'll get to We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, now we got our desert planet here. So it should be pretty much uh, self-explanatory to avoid the desert, the sand by this point. The uh, evil poisonous sands. And then you lead to nothing! Nope, actually leads to more of, these, more of this stuff. But yeah, this music is freaking epic and awesome. And I love it so much. Um, so yeah, finally get to say Peach after all this time, after two and a half years. And also, this thing right here, uh, I can never get past this without taking one hand. I think I've done maybe like two or three times in my entire life, and that's... Yeah. 
And I've repeated this final battle several times because it's a, it's a pretty fun one, I will admit that. Be careful about these bullet bills coming up here. That one could easily knock you into lava if you're not careful. Okay. This is the last plant before the final battle, by the way, so we're pretty much just about there. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be having comments in this episode um, saying that I should do a Super Mario Galaxy 2 next. I must stress right away that I never do a sequel directly after um, LPing the original game. Let's just say that. I did not do that with Pikmin 2, you know, after Pikmin 1, and, you know, I think I've, uh, I can't, that's pretty much the only sequels, uh, sequel type games I can think of off the top of my head. Basically, I don't, I try to avoid doing two games, two, ga two or more games, the same series, too close to one another, because it just seems like it's not, it doesn't, it, I prefer to have my, my content, my channel as varied as possible here. And I feel like I'm not doing a good job of that if I do the sequel right after doing the first game, you know. That's all there is to it. So I won't be doing Samurai Galaxy 2 immediately after this. Okay, now what? <laughs> Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me! Oh, hell no. Shit just got real. Because... Peach is with Bowser's Jr., not Bowser. Wow. Okay, well, seriously, let's uh, get a move on here. Okay, so Bowser apparently is too lazy to shoot fire out of his own mouth, so he just has his son shoot fireballs, because yeah, I guess he's just, yeah, he's just feeling lazy today. Um, but once again, just like at the end of Bowser's Star Reactor, you have your chance to get a life extension and a life itself. So, here it is, y'all. The showdown of the century. Versus the Festival of Century, which I started off with. Didn't go so well. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep! From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Mario, as you can see, I got big plans, and stopping you is at the top of my list! Not if I have anything to say about it, Bowser. Let's have at it. Okay, so here we are at the final battle of the game. You have three different planets that we find Bowser on here, and this first one, um, he's gonna turn into basically those lava rocks that I remember from earlier. And this is all you have to do. Just hit him when his head is uh, basically where you are. It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, the same exact thing you did with those lava rocks. Remember those lava rocks that I've been that I was somehow really good at managing to hit at the right time? Well, that's not going to be the case here because I'm going to fail. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This really isn't that bad, but this is probably the battle where you would finally find out, if not anywhere else, that you can actually destroy those lava rocks just by hitting them in the right spot. So let's do that same with Bowser. And on each planet, Bowser just takes two hits, and that's it. So let's do this. Now the second planet. Okay, watch this. You're, gonna not, you're not gonna believe this. Yeah, the second planet is the most pathetic out of all of them. Just the design of the planet alone is pathetic. But <laughs> I mean, really, this is the final battle here, and this is what they're pulling on us. And there we go. And now... For the real final battle, we get a rehash of the first two fights of Bowser. Literally, the same exact thing as before, except this time he's got more shockwaves, but eh, big deal. Okay, so now he's gonna start, he's gonna turn to his shell, he's going to try to uh, spin at us, and then that's when we do this, what we did before. Okay, and then you're going to want to meet up with Bowser on the other side of the planet. Okay, just like so, just like before. No difference whatsoever. Okay, last hit. This is literally the last hit right here. Were you expecting this battle to be really difficult? Because no, it is not. The Super Mario 64 battle... I mean, this has nothing on the Super Mario 64 final duel. I can definitely tell you that. Okay. Alright, last hit. We got this. We got this. We can do this, man. We can do this. We can do this without taking another hit. Oh, I almost jinxed it there. 
Oh, dang it, you just barely missed. Bowser, you gotta be better than that. If you wanna hurt yourself, you gotta be better than that. You gotta aim better. All right. I guess we're going through this whole segment again. Okay, I guess we're playing jump rope. That's fine, I'll play jump with you, Bowser. Just please, just... Can you please just get a, get a good direct hit in, please? Just do it for me. Do it for me, old Bowser, because we're friends. That's what we are. All right, thank you very much. And now... Come here, Bowser. There you are. Let me just hit your tail, and then... Hit you one more time, and... That's it! He's down. No! Bowser finally gives up and accepts defeat. And we get a shell of a former Grand Star because, well, I already picked this one up off screen, so it's kind of a kind of an anti-climax, I guess, but, you know, not too bad. It's symbolically the end of the game for us, basically. Well, literally, actually. You got a clear star! And all of a sudden, it's solid yellow. Every time I watch this ending, I can't help but just just stop talking and just watch, because it's amazing. <laughs> Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday.
When stars die, they turn into stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see. Yes, all new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. Ah! Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! Holy crap! That is Super Mario Galaxy, y'all. After... Okay, it had to be, like, what, two years and seven months now? No, nine months, actually, as you guys are seeing this in December, because I'm recording this as far as back as October. Yes, and there it is, Shigeru Miyamoto. Man. This game is... A really great game. It's a must-have for all Wii owners, as well as many other games, as I mentioned in the past, like Kirby's a, Kirby's Turn Dream Land and whatnot, but... I mean, yeah, it's a Mario game, so the story is not exactly the most impressive thing in the world. It's pretty much your standard Mario attire, except slightly more intimidating this time, because of the fact that Bowser is actually, you know, cr creating his own galaxy empire, sort of, and trying to take over the universe, so that adds a bit more you know, intimidation to your standard Mario plot, but, you know, the cinematics and the gameplay alone make this game worth buying for any Wii or Wii U owner. In fact, actually, you can, apparently you can download the game for on the Wii U uh, eShop, I do believe, for, for now, or maybe not, I don't know about this game, but I know you can uh, download Super Mario Galaxy 2, but I'd, I'd find it kind of odd if you can't get this game on there by now. It's... But it's definitely worth it, no matter what. And there's also Nintendo Classics, you can also, or, yeah, I think it's, or Nintendo Selects, that's what it's called. Yeah, you can buy the game for much cheaper. It just has a red uh, banner around it, but that's about it. It's, but it's cheaper, so it's worth it. And, uh, yeah, but I'd especially like to give thanks to um, all my friends out there who voice acted for this Let's Play. Um, pretty much everyone. You know who you are out there. Thank you very much for vo for doing all the voice acting for me. I could not thank you guys enough for making this a, a very unique Let's Play of mine. Because that's what sets it apart from all my other Let's Plays, the voice acting alone. And the amount of effort it took just into the start of this Let's Play with the whole, with the whole intro and the trailer and whatnot. It's just... I think this, this Let's Play got the most effort out of me to start with. Um, out of all my Let's Plays, and I think that's part of the reason why it went through that hiatus, but I think in the end it was all worth it, because this Let's Play turned out amazing. Yes, my I had some horrible hiccups, like, for instance, the that freaking Red Comet, that Speedy Comet, 
in Dreadnought Galaxy. I can never, ever get over that. That was just, that was so awful. I struggled on that more than any other mission, and that's an embarrassment, because that because I don't consider that mission to be difficult at all or infamous. Not compared to the likes of Dreadnought Galaxy's purple coins or or the purple coins in uh, that, that bone pen and freaking... I don't know, though, because, like, there was also the, the snow-capped galaxy. I struggle with that, too. But, I don't know. But, yeah, honestly, one there are some downsides still to this game, and one of them is the final battle. It's kind of a joke. It really is. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, but one thing I also don't like about this game is actually coming up here. Um, I'm going to have some credits of my own at the end of this video, um, thanking all my voice actors. Uh, there were a couple who played a lot more roles than anyone else, so I think my biggest thanks go out, goes out to Yoshi Fan 2012. Don't, don't get me wrong, I also am very thankful for Corsair Joe and Ultra 64 Fan 1, anyone else who did the voice acting, but Yoshi Fan 2012, he did the most voice acting out of anyone in my voice cast. And so I'm very thankful to have him as a friend and anyone and everyone else who participated in the voice Thank acting. Thank you so much for playing my game. You are very much welcome, Mario, any day. Anytime, anywhere. And so now, what's next? Thank, Thank you. you. I will watch over you from beyond the stars. Super Luigi Galaxy! You can now play as Luigi. We'll be getting that into that in the bonus episode. For now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. At, at first of all, I still got the credits for this, for the Let's Play itself, but... Um, Actually, you know what? Why don't I just explain it right now, real quick, before we do the credits. After you beat this game and get 120 stars, that other world that Rosalina was talking about... Watch this. Luigi. You get to play through all of that again. All 120 stars, the exact same missions, the exact same moves. Very, very slight differences as Luigi. That is it. You just play through the exact same game all over again as Luigi. And this is one thing that kind of disappointed me. Why couldn't they just make up new missions or something? That's what really frustrates me about this. Why couldn't they just do that? Or, heck, I mean, why can't you just have Luigi become available to play at some point, like halfway through the game or something like that? and just not have the Super Luigi Galaxy, but no. 
they just had you do had you play through the entire game again as Luigi, and that to me is kind of ridiculous. It's, I mean, it's not that bad. It's it's a great game to play through, but seriously, this is what they make you do. And the reason why I say that is because there's still more to do after you play through the game and get 120 stars as Luigi. And we're going to be getting to that in the bonus episode. Until then, I guess I'm going to be doing Super Luigi Galaxy off screen. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. See you guys in the bonus episode. And I guess uh, Toad's big head also wants to say goodbye. So... There you go. Just shake your head, Toad. Can you do that? Okay, apparently you can't do that. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Goodbye. Hi, I'm YoshiFan2012. I do Let's Plays every time the planets align. <laughs> anyway, I did some characters in this Let's Play. Mostly Lumas, but still others sometimes. Overall, it was a, a fun, interesting project. I hope we do something like this again. Uh, I like voice acting, for sure. Just hopefully next time things go a little smoother, because there were a lot of delays this year. Or, not this year, but with... Just overall, there were a lot of delays. And next time, hopefully things sound a little more professional, because I know I, I definitely could have done better. And I, I, don't, I don't know how the others feel, but I, I, I could definitely have done better. Other than that, uh... There's not much to say. Thanks, uh, Aaron, for for doing this. This was fun. And I guess I'll see you guys sometime again. Okay, bye. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Corsair Joe here. I'm a member of United We Play and Ryan Hatchery's Productions. You should go check those out. They're pretty cool. The characters I voiced were the Bees, Polari, Coach Penguin, and sometimes Rosalina. Uh, it was pretty fun voicing them. Yeah, thanks for watching this Let's Play. Hey, I'm Ultra 64 fan one and I voiced Bowser, Bowser Jr., Guppy, Luigi, and a couple lines of Rosalina. What I liked about these characters is that they had very energetic, distinct voices, and I think my friends will agree for the characters that they voiced. On my channel, I like to upload what I call MIDI creations, which are basically remixes that I make uh, or covers, rather, of video game songs, and uh, I'm. It takes me a while to make each one, but I, I try to put as much effort as I possibly can into each one, and uh, I hope to upload more soon and make the channel a bit more active than it is now. I hope to dabble in voice acting in the future. Um, I'd like to at least explore it more as a hobby, because I thought voicing these characters was a blast. Um, anyway, thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play very much. Also, I almost forgot, be sure to check out United We Play, where we all collaborate together to make hilarious uh, multiplayer videos of these great games, so be sure to check that out. Also, to end things off here, I would like to give a very special thanks to Triforce TK for his role in the first 14 episodes of this Let's Play. Well, actually, the four roles that he had. For the first 14 episodes, he was Rosalina, um, he also voiced Queen Bee, he, vo he voiced Coach Penguin for episodes 4 through 14, and he also voiced Male Toad for episodes 9 through 13. Um, he was unable to voice for the rest of Let's Play as he became very busy once at, by the time I brought the Let's Play back um, this year. But I'd still like to give a very special thanks to him for his effort in doing those lines the first 14 episodes as Let's Play. So thank you so much, Triforce DK. And I would also give to, like to give one last thanks to the Humble Gamer for his role as the as Kamek in the intro of the Let's Play. He did a great job on that. So thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate everyone's hard work in this Let's Play.